Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome to State of Mind, a game that explores transhumanism, humans trying to extend beyond the physical capabilities of our own body and life. I guess this will sort of be like a Detroit Become Human type topic esque thing, but let's hop into this, shall we? This is rather ominous, I must say. For the future, I'm not exactly sure that I'm liking this, to be completely honest. Uh, it's kinda, looks kinda depressing. <laughs> looks rather depressing. Uh oh, they're coming. Just leave us alone, okay? Oh god, just gonna freaking kill the homeless man. Oh, they're beating up homeless people. What the freak? What is wrong with these androids and things? What are they doing? Policia. Oh. Oh, we got we got stripper droids. Oh boy, this is uh <laughs> this is interesting. This is it's like a really different art style though. It's it's kinda, you know. Kind of cool. Are they gonna go beat up some more homeless people? Because I don't want to see that at all. Don't. I don't need to see them beat up more homeless people. Homeless people did nothing. Okay. They didn't deserve that. I guess it's like what? What are you doing? You're not even being a mother. Go back and t t take care of your child. You're being too freaking. What the? What is happening here? What are they doing? Are they turning them into androids? What? What is happening? Be the first, get, well, I, I didn't get to see that at all. Breakpoint? I don't know what that's, oh, okay, there was an explosion. Uh-oh. Someone's causing a disruption. Don't know who that someone is, but they've got all the freaking police inbound, so uh, they're, they're trying to quell this rebellion. They don't want you to, they don't want you to know the truth. Low. Oh, this is me. Too high, man. Blood pressure. Too high. Everything's too it's high. <laughs> Too high. What are the beta levels? What is that supposed to mean? Look, I got freaking hit over the head. Very gifted boy. Where have I seen his face before? I don't know. He's with the voice. The voice? The TV show? No, I'm supposed to be a journalist or something of that nature. <laughs> what happened to me? Oh, car crash. Okay. Oh god, are they shooting people? What is going on during this little this little scene here? There's so many explosions. Cool guys don't look at explosions though. I, I, it looks like I'm having a seizure. Oh, just stab it in my neck. Yeah, just <laughs> just go ahead and stab me in the neck with the needle. Yeah, just just do that. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. Mr. Nolan. Yes, I'm Christopher Richard, Nolan. Can you hear Just me? kidding. <laughs> I I can hear you. Where am I? I'm in a hospital somewhere, You're probably. In the central hospital. Yeah, the central one. Can you open your eyes? I guess I'm opening them now. Get that thing out of my anything. face. Don't worry. I can see it. It's just your blurry. Will return soon. A drone it's already found returning. You on the side of the M75. The M75? Is this like a road? Something, I would assume. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. All right, at least you're human. A glowing object in the room now. Wasn't that thing already glowing in the op? The Do you see that? Try Do to I see it? Your eyes on that object. I see it. It's right there. It's like a medallion or something, or a clock. Is it a clock? Good. Again. Is it going to be in the same spot? Is it going to be somewhere else? Oh, it's over there now. What is this? Why do you want me to look at this? It's not. Can I focus on it? I'm focusing. I'm focusing. My vision is not helping me right now. Hello. There there we go. Do we get it? My vision is back. Alright. Your sight will return to normal soon. We'll Thank you. Tests. 
cognitive, emotional memory. It won't take long. I don't want to remember the past. I don't. I really don't. I think the game said it was 2048, so we're going to go January 11th, 2048. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. I think. Very good. That's correct. Oh, I was right. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. It's going to be like a really long riddle that I'm not going to understand. Blue, my hair is brown. My house is white. Okay. Which three colors did I mention? Brown, white, and blue. Blue. I, I may have messed that up. I'm pretty sure. Very good, that's right. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty. I'm an idiot if I messed it up. What? What happened? My you got an accident. Where are they? They're all dead. I can't remember anything. No. I yeah, I remember a car accident. That's about it. In a car, there was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. Am I really? You're very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. AR system. Uh, Augmented vision. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. All right. You stand up. Maybe. Just follow me to the table. I guess I can. All right. So here we go. January 11, 2048, Central Hospital, Berlin. All right. So what are we supposed to be doing at the table? Doctor, doctor, tell me. What am I supposed to be doing at this table here? Hello. Oh, K Timothy Keller. Neurologist, Central Clinics. This place is a freaking dump, just saying. How do you work out of this? How is this sterile? Okay, anyway. <laughs> I guess we... Exact cognition test. This will help evaluate your cognitive abilities. Please concentrate and follow your instructions given by your clinic personnel. Alright, so can I pick Take it up? The cube from the left side of the table. Make it Give me the cube, boy. The right side of the table. Wait, he said give... Wait, I lost track of what he said. Change the color of the cube by applying light pressure to its side. Should you have any questions, just ask your person now. So I have to apply pressure to the side. I message, wait, what the frick is all this? I don't know what all that is. Alright, so, change the color of the cube. How am I supposed to change the color? Oh, color. What color do you say to change it to? He said the left side, right? I can't remember what he said. I don't remember at all. Turn, I changed it to yellow. <laughs> I changed it to yellow. Is that what you want me to do? I can't remember at all. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. And then he said, put it back on the table. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can ask him a question again because I forgot what he said. <laughs> I don't know if he said a specific color or not. Did Can I talk to you again? No? Guess not? Okay. He's going to be like, listen, you're a freaking idiot. You, you shouldn't have passed the freaking second grade. Can I get out of here? <laughs> you, you shouldn't have passed the second grade. You don't know what a freaking color is at all. I'm going to put it over here. Just gonna just put it down. Well done, Richard. Please follow me. I, I guess I did it right. Test. What about the test that was over here in the corner? Oh, it's an encephalo scan. I guess that's just a brain scan, right? Okay. So what is this now? Okay. Who is this? That's my. That's me. When I was a boy. With my neighbor's kid, my son. It's my son. It's my boy. Exactly. What's his name? I don't know his name. Uh, Jason. Oh, Jason. of course. Think carefully. Wait, his name isn't Jason? His name is James. James. Very good. Okay, I guess I just had to keep Where guessing until James? I got it right. Is he here? He is not. You've He's already dead. Asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where yeah, but you didn't he? give me an answer. It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course. <laughs> my voice. <laughs> my voice. You are his father. My you kid. Well. Yes. Richard? He's a good kid. He's my pride and joy. <laughs> Do you know this person? That's my wife. That's... What if I have an option to be like, that's my, that's my Jennifer. It's my wife. That's Tracy. Oh, I didn't that's get to pick her name? Okay. Tell me about her. What she's do you a, mean? She's a wonderful Tell woman. Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. Um, well... I know that we were, were in a cab. It was nighttime. And that's how Jason was born. <laughs> James. I'm sorry. Tracy's hand. Keep going. The onboard systems were malfunctioning. It, it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. And then the accident happened. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I would it? assume it's recent. I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this? That's the voice. That's where I work. 
Yeah, that's my workplace. Yeah, that, that work there. Yeah, that. Excellent, Richard. That place what there, I work there. there. Exactly. I am a journalist. I'm a specialist in, in right. I write about technology. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Very journalist. Good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Exactly. Ah, I tell the truth. Fast. That's the standard line, right? Hey. You must say that all the time. I believe in what I say. Well, can I go back to work, doctor? <laughs> no. Well, wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. The first Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. Not without my family. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Okay, so I guess I feel queasy. I need It'll to throw up. Forever. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. You said probably. Perhaps not completely. But let's be patient. I had a feeling it's never going to come well, back. Then, I wish you the best. Thanks, so doctor. I can go. Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay. Okay, but I don't remember where I live. <laughs> yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. Oh, you got a cab out there? At the entrance, we'll escort you down. I don't want that thing to escort me anywhere. All right, I guess we're leaving now. Uh, where where's the exit? I guess it's over here near the waiting room where everybody else is. Can I run? Okay, there we go. I was about to say this will speed things up. Are you the medic bot that's supposed to lead Good me evening, out, sir? Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. I don't know if I want your help, but I guess I don't have a choice, so I'll follow you. Please don't try and kill me in the process, though. I, I will have to fight you. Okay? It won't be pleasant. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. Oh, boy. This has been the second attack within the last few days. Is that what all the explosions were? In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues. Oh, we don't even have real region, wars anymore. It's just drones. Large amounts of natural resources. I guess that's where, you know, war is probably headed because you don't want to sense people, you know, cut off the, uh, cut off the risk of human lives. Ew, do I live in a dump? What the frick? <laughs> we're, pa we're passing some more homeless people. You are at your destination. What is this West place? Plaza, yeah, this is a dump. Your this is what a journalist live in. The life of a journalist. It's, uh, interesting. I guess we can say that. It's got character. <laughs> it's got character. Oh, what the? What? Where did it go? Sir, please, something to eat. I don't have anything to eat either. I don't even. I don't even know if I have money. Applications now. Valid nano scan required. Why does it look like Lincoln up there? Mars, our future. We haven't made it to Mars yet. By being yet? a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. You would think we would have made it there already. Interested? A nano scan takes no more than two minutes. Then it actually takes Start two hours. Fresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I get to be a pioneer on Mars? Sign me up. Where's that nano scan? Just kidding. Don't want it. Tracy, James. Oh, frick. There's a robot hey, standing over Richard. me. I'm Simon, your base five home assistant. Today Can you find my family? 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m. Didn't I go to sleep? 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? <laughs> is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? I didn't have Tracy. these clothes on, did I? Alright, so I guess we're trying to find our wife and child, which we still have no idea what has happened to them. You have new cloud messages. I've got new cloud messages? What is this? A cloud called Tracy's parents. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, James, your son likes drawing stuff. Let's see the message box. Public freelancer Lydia Craig lives in Queens, New York. Richard, this is not funny, okay? Have Pick I been up now? Have I been out for like three days? She's probably asleep by now. 
It says there like I haven't picked wrong. up two days Let's from the 9th to the 11th. You can't just Have I been in a coma? Me back, please. Otherwise I won't be able to sleep. I guess she didn't freaking I guess she wasn't able to go to sleep cuz <laughs> I did not answer. Come uh, on, what's going on? I was in an accident. Yes, something did happen actually. Call me, please. All right, so is that all in the message box? I guess that's all I can do. So James. This contact is currently offline. He's dead, isn't he? He's dead. He's dead. You don't even have to tell me. I already know. He's dead. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth, you dirty pow. All right, so um, there's a clean bot. All right, so we got clean bots and everything. What is going on in here? This is my son's room. All right, toys upgrade upgrade available. These analog toys are out of date. Digital toys are <laughs> really. We're just, we're not gonna let him play with blocks. We're gonna be like, nah, you gotta play with these uh, digital toys. Painted by Nolan. Oh, this is cool. It gives. You Can you stop following me? I didn't ask you to follow me. All right, I got other things to do. Wait, what? Tracy, you... I want this thing to disappear. Yeah, I want this thing to go away. Seriously. Speak, sir. He's gonna be like, your your family sir, is dead, sir. Do you not want to know where your family is? Where are they? Where do you, where have you taken them? <laughs> where have you taken them? Okay. Tracy. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes. I not in. So where is she? She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. I thought she uh, was in the accident too. To inform me. Fine. She can stay there. What is happening? Where's my son? James. Is he with her she too? Took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. I could have swore they were in the accident with me, I thought he was saying, so I thought they were dead. I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh Tracy's intention. Tracy say why she went to her parents? She's leaving me, she's divorcing me. <laughs> what was her reason? <laughs> she only told me to be here for you. Mm. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? Nope. I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't? Or you don't want to. Mm. I don't understand, sir. Exactly. Completely useless. Technology. Get out of here. Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Tracy. All right, Lydia's online now, so I guess we gotta call her. Let her know that we had a freaking accident and, uh, let's see, Lydia. Not as long as that bot's snooping around. Oh, we gotta get out of his path? So, how are we supposed to get rid of him? Can we... Maybe we can... Can we? Can you leave? Can I tell him to do something? Yes, sir. Shut yourself down. You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. I don't need your help. Wish. Yeah, get the frick out of here. Where are you going, anyway? Oh, he's just gonna. Is that how he shuts down? That's kind of weird. Okay. All right, so I guess I'm free to roam. Free to call. Oh, wow! There's broken glass in here. What happened here? Potential source of danger. Please remove. There'll okay. Be time for this tomorrow. Oh, I guess I don't. I guess I can't remove it now. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, I guess we'll call Lydia. Richard. Holograms. Oh, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. In what? hospital. Oh, why? Are you <laughs> sick? Why didn't you tell me? Cause I was in a coma. That's why. I had an accident. I think on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh God! Are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. Man, that's how it, it happens sometimes. Like what do you mean? It can't you go on. To speak to her. Wait, what? Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Am I cheating on my wife? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her, too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. <laughs> Me of all people. Me of all people. I have a bot. Oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. Wait, what? What is she doing at her parents' place? What is this advertise? Freaking ad the ads are so freaking. <laughs> they're so uh. What's the word I'm looking? Intrusive now. It goes from YouTube videos to literally being outside your freaking window. Okay. Uh, shrug. I don't well, know. I know. Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? What argument? Yeah, you're a week ago. You complained about that for hours. <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? Maybe. Uh, What's wrong? Are you scared? I am scared. scared. No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Oh, I didn't realize I just skipped through part Fine. of that. I'm sorry. 
You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's oh. fine. And anyway, I have another customer. Not a customer. Sour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some freaking rest. advertising in the background if again. If you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. So it appears that I am cheating on my wife with Lydia. Um, I don't know why. Don't know what caused this. I feel bad because I personally wouldn't do this, but you know, this is the story. So, yeah, we gotta go. We gotta roll with it. <laughs> so we're probably gonna end up getting divorced by the end of this. Uh, by the end of this game, cause uh, yeah. Please don't open the door until the What the frick is happening? Or a faded turquoise. Or a spectrum. Dr. Sykes, I don't know who possible? you are. Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. Who are these people? It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Are these my parents? Oh, Possibly. Course, Mrs. Newman. What is going on right now? Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. Did I? Why are you a hologram? And in my I'm a different person, aren't I? A bit less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Hmm. Adam Looking Newman. You, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Why does everybody have an accident? No. Yes. Yes. The cab. It Wait, what? Come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget you can call me at I am confused. What about my wife? Amy. She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Okay. Did you think she was in the car? I mean, in the other storyline I did. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. I'm confused too, because we just switch characters somehow. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. Well, that's good. All right, no questions. No questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water. <laughs> and no if sports. you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. I don't like these drones. Please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. My son's we sick. Expect him daily at 10 in the morning. Maybe I should have had a question about him. So now we're at City 5 Adam. Central, Monday, Adam Newman's apartment. The world dreams hands. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. But I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.